Let me start off by saying that I agree 100% with what this commenter is saying. It is because of the tireless efforts, the blood, sweat, and tears of the African-American community, the black community of this country, that other minorities like Latinos, like Asians, like Jewish people, like women, etc., have been able to enjoy certain rights and certain freedoms. It is because of the tireless efforts of black leaders and black organizations like MLK, like Malcolm X, like the Black Panther Party, like the NAACP, and so many more, that we as Latinos, as a minority, at least in the scope of this conversation, are able to enjoy so many freedoms. The freedom to not be discriminated against for being Latino in our employment, in buying a house, in starting a business, in voting, and so many more things, guys. Segregation was ended by the efforts of black people. Education, things like affirmative action, that is all due to the efforts of black people, guys. And yet, in the comments of this original video, I'm seeing so many Hispanics being like, oh, what she said wasn't racist, or that, oh, yeah, they were just having casual conversation. All of my Hispanic parents talk like that. My family, come on, that's like normal. It's not like that. No, we need to erase that way of thinking. That just because the elders in our family, los viejos, uh, mi mami, tu papi, tu abuela, tu abuelo, tío, tía, no. We need to get that chip of racism and colonization out of our heads. And I'm not afraid to say it, and I don't care about anybody's opinion. This is an objective fact. A lot of Latinos are racist towards black people and other races, but in particular are anti-black. It's literally ingrained in our culture, in the phrases that a lot of Hispanic people use. I'm not going to say them because they're very offensive, but obviously, my fellow Latinos saben muy bien de lo que yo estoy hablando. So no, what Martina said is not okay. It is racist and disgusting. A lot of the Latinos in my comments wouldn't be saying that this was okay if the shoe were on the other foot and they were being discriminated against and Latinos were being talked about. Mexicans, Central Americans, South Americans, Caribbean Latinos, blah, blah, blah. All that. It would be a different story. Y'all would not have this energy. If you're a first-gen Latino like me and you hear your fellow Latinos, either your friends or your family members, relatives, whatever, say racist, homophobic, misogynistic things, check them. Don't allow for them to continue with that mentality and think it's okay to be like, oh, yeah, in a joking manner because it's not, guys. It's really not. If Latinos are ever to progress as a people, we need to remove the chip of colonization and of self-hatred for indigenous people and black people out of our heads, installed into our heads by the Spaniards, by the Portuguese, and by the French. And finally, just respect black people, y'all. Respect them because the contributions that they've made to our rights, we enjoy more so than them. Latinos and other minority groups are more privileged than black people despite them fighting for these rights in the first place.